Hi, I'm Ken with Tiny Circuits, and today we're going to show you how to put together your Tiny Arcade DIY kit. It goes together pretty simply, it doesn't take much in the way of tools, you just need some tape, flathead screwdriver, and it only takes about 10 minutes to put together. So in front of us are all the parts that come with the Tiny Arcade DIY kit. Up here is the OLED screen, all the games are going to be played on that. Next to that is the main processor board, you'll see a joystick and some buttons on here, power switches. Next to that is a speaker. Next to that is a lithium battery, and that's going to be used to power the unit. Here is a piece of double sticky side foam tape. We're going to use that to attach the battery. Now here is a nylon spacer and some nylon screws that's going to be used to hold it together. This is a laser cut acrylic of the overall cabinet. You see it has a protective coating on it right now. And underneath is a sheet of stickers, and you can use that to decorate your tiny arcade. The first step to putting together the tiny arcade is to put together the electronics. The main processor board has a joystick, two buttons, a space to plug in the battery and the speaker. There's a power switch, micro SD card, USB for charging and programming, a volume control knob, and the main processor. The first step we want to do is plug the battery into this board. So let's grab the battery. We're going to plug it into the connector that says BAT. And then we're going to plug the speaker in next to that. And you'll see that both these connectors are basically the same size, and you can actually plug them in incorrectly. It's not a big deal if you do. It's just not going to work. You're not going to damage anything. And we take the screen and we plug it so the, the glass faces forward towards the joystick. We actually want a slight space in there, too, so when we put it together, it will fit. Uh, turn the power switch on, and just make sure everything's working. So test the switches, the joystick. Make sure that the, the speaker's working as well. And then turn it off, and we can move forward. The next step is to separate all the acrylic pieces. So it comes in one sheet, the pieces just break apart very easily. And so we just want to separate all the pieces, and you'll see these little nubbins too that kind of connect the different pieces together. You can break those off, or you can use a, a small like an X-Acto knife to, to break those off as well. Next we want to remove the protective covering that's on the acrylic. So just using your fingernail, you can kind of start on a corner or an edge, and just get underneath that and start to peel it back. If you don't have a good fingernail, you can use like an X-Acto knife tip to get under there or tweezers. So just remove all the covering off now. As you're removing the protective covering, we also want to get rid of these little nubbins. Uh, so here I'm just using the back of a pair of tweezers to knock them off. You can also use an X-Acto knife. We just want to knock them down a little bit before we move on. Once we have the acrylic all cleaned up, it's now time to start putting it together. So take one of the side pieces in the nylon spacer and one of the nylon screws. Put the nylon screw through the hole, and just using your hand, you can just thread that screw into the nylon spacer. We're going to make that somewhat tight, and move on to putting the electronics in the unit. Next, take the small piece of foam tape and remove one of the, the coverings on that. We want to stick that right to the center of the back piece of acrylic. We take the other side of the foam tape covering off, we want to stick the battery right in the center of that. We want to stick it on the side that has the writing on the battery. Then we take the whole electronic assembly, and if you see, we've got the battery that's kind of you know on the, the top side, and the speaker is going to go through this little channel here on the side. We want to make sure it goes through that little groove there. Then you see these little tabs here on the PCB. We want to put that into these slots in the acrylic. And so we can kind of align this and just kind of slide it into place. You might have to wiggle it around a little bit, move the boards. And so when we get it in there, uh, we'll actually see that the circuit board is kind of coming through um, the acrylic. You see those little slots are now filled up with the circuit board. Now we want to grab some scotch tape. And you can really use any tape. And we're going to just use this to hold the acrylic pieces together. If we don't do this, it's extremely loose and uh, the pieces will kind of fall apart very easily. I want to put this back piece in first and just using the scotch tape, uh, put it across the back of the acrylic piece to the side piece and that will just hold it in place. And we're going to go around really the entire cabinet and use tape to hold the pieces in place. So use however much tape you need. We're going to grab this top piece now and again we're going to grab some handy scotch tape. We'll put a piece on that, just like so. Put the top piece in place, and then the tape is going to come around and 
taped to the back side of the acrylic. Now we're going to go, and you can see here it's still kind of loose, so we're going to grab some more tape and uh, put it to the top side of the acrylic and use that to tape uh, to the side piece. So I'm grabbing a piece of tape here, we're going to use it to tape to the top and just overlap onto the side just to hold it in place so it stays somewhat sturdy. And you can kind of see that the pieces are all in place now. It's being held together. And now we're going to grab a little front piece that goes kind of right at the top, kind of the marquee piece of the arcade. Grab some more tape, put it on the top, and we're just going to use that to kind of overlap onto that top piece and hold that in place. And now that we have that, you can kind of see the arcade starting to come together. The different pieces are there. Uh, the circuit board can still fall out, so just be somewhat careful at this point. If it does, just kind of slide it back into place. Next, we want to grab this, this piece with the holes in it. That's where the joystick and the switch is to go through. And you want to make sure it's, uh, it's rotated the right way so all, everything fits into place. And just on an angle, you can kind of put that over the joystick. You might have to move the board out a little bit, but it just kind of slides into place there. And then we want to grab the piece that goes around the screen. So if you see here, there's actually a, a piece that's a little bit thicker at the bottom. Or not thicker, but just a little higher. And that's going to go down towards the joystick. And if you notice, I didn't use any tape there. You can if you want. Uh, those pieces tend to stay in place pretty good uh, because of the joystick. Now we take the bottom piece, and this is where the speaker sound is going to come out of. And this, we're definitely going to need to use some tape to hold that in place. So we put some tape on the bottom, and we're going to put it right there on kind of the bottom of that side piece and wrap the tape around to hold that in place. And now we're going to kind of go around and build uh, the acrylic that is going to hold the speaker in place. So we take this front piece, and you see here there's a notch cut out of it. And we're going to put the tape over that notch, put that right into the front, into the holes that are on the side, and then wrap that tape around to that bottom piece. And now we can start to put the speaker into place. If you notice there's wires coming out of the speaker, we want to make sure those wires don't go through any of those notches in the side or the front acrylic. So we just kind of move the wires out of the way up to the, the top so it's in the empty space there in the cabinet. And you can use some tape if you want to hold the speaker in place, but basically it'll fit kind of nicely into those little slots in the, in the side acrylic and the front acrylic. And then with that in place, we want to grab this little piece here that goes on the back. And if you see there, there's another notch in there, so we want to grab some tape put it over the notch, and then put that into the acrylic puzzle, and then wrap the tape around so it you know, goes onto the bottom. And so you see there the speaker is kind of held in place with those notches. Uh, we still have one more piece here that kind of goes in the front underneath the joysticks. So this is a pretty small piece. We're definitely going to need to use some tape to hold that in place temporarily. And so just put some tape there. You can kind of overlap onto where the switches and joysticks are to hold that in place. And with that there, we're pretty much ready for the next side piece. And if you see here, we want to line really all those holes up. So we're going to have to wiggle around a little bit. Uh, this might take a little bit of time to do it right. And once we do that, we've got uh, our acrylic you know, pretty much put together and our cabinet put together. And so just wiggle it to make sure everything's good and kind of in place. Move around the entire cabinet, just kind of pressing down on it to make sure everything's together. And at this point, we're ready to, you know, grab that other nylon screw. And that's going to, you know, hold our unit together. So um, just using my hand, I can kind of thread that, you know, into that nylon spacer that's in there. Um, you do want to get this somewhat tight just to hold it together so it doesn't fall apart. Uh, so you can use a, a screwdriver and then just take all the tape that we had um, off because we don't need it anymore to hold our arcade together. Now you've done it. You've put together your tiny arcade. So let's take a look at what the tiny arcade can do. If we look here in the back, uh, there's a micro SD card slot. There's a power switch, a USB, and a volume control knob. So let's just flip the power switch on and it'll load up. It comes preloaded with three games. Um, there's a tiny shooter, a tiny Tetris, and a Flappy Burst type game. And so you can get to playing. 
Uh, there's also a SD card slot on the back that you can use to add additional games. So you can download games from free off our website. Uh, you can also put videos on there. So you just slide the SD card in there with uh, more games. And there's also the USB on the back. And that can be used to, that will charge the battery. And it's an Arduino-based system. So you can actually connect it up to your computer as well and reprogram uh, the processor in there if you want. We hope you had a lot of fun putting together your tiny arcade and have lots of fun playing it. If you had any issues, just shoot us an email and we'll be happy to help you out.